With the Midget uh, AAA League this season, uh, obviously there's a lot of big changes. Uh, the minor midgets and the major midgets are now playing together. Uh, it's pretty much a, a club team for us now. Uh, so all the players that we drafted, who are uh, 98, 99, and uh, 2000s, uh, are playing together on our midget team. And obviously there were some concerns at first, and I think for us as, as a team, as an organization, it, it, it's been a positive experience. Uh, in terms of this new league, uh, the pros about it, some of the things that I do like is uh, on, the, on the club system side of things, I know that my players have had the opportunity to go up to the next level, and that's ultimately what you're doing in minor hockey, is developing the players to get to the next level. We've had uh, several of our players affiliated directly up with the Junior A Club, so they actually had had the opportunity to both to go out to practices and in games, and as well as I think we got approximately three others that were affiliated, three or four others that are affiliated with Junior B, and we've actually promoted them and encouraged them to try and get up to that next level and participate in games and practices. So overall, on the developmental side of things, I think it's fantastic in terms of that, that the kids are getting the opportunity, the exposure to see what it takes to get to that next level, and obviously buy into the coach's program of getting there. Yeah, well, for us as an organization, and if we talk about our players, uh, the younger guys, the ones that are 15, uh, for them to play with older players I think is a benefit. Uh, they're playing with older guys, bigger guys, stronger guys. Um, and I like the fact that if you're 16 or 17 and you're a late bloomer, you're able to play at a very good level of hockey. Uh, obviously the goal for us as an organization is for these players to move on to you know, uh, Junior A, uh, junior B next season. Some of them will stay with the Midget Triple A team and, and some of them might go in the OHL right away, which we're okay with. Uh, deep down, we just want to make sure that our players do improve. Uh, and I think we've picked a, a very good coaching staff and you know, uh, there's a reason why the team's doing well right now. Uh, we have a good bunch of kids and like I just said, they're good staff. And, and for us, I think there's, we see the positives for, for every or for different age groups. So I came from the Eastern Ontario Wild where I spent uh, four years coaching in their AAA program with the last two years prior to this year coaching the, the major midget AAA team. Um, we had one of the younger teams at the major midget level. We did uh, very well developmental wise. It was uh, quite an accomplishment as a coach to see a lot of the players that you were developing went on to play junior level whether it was the Central League or the Junior B which was fantastic in terms of development. It was bad for us as coaches going back year two of starting with a clean slate but that's what you're there for. You're there for to develop the kids overall and to get them to that next level. Well, obviously the biggest change is the, uh, the partnership with minor hockey with the HEO Midget AAA League and our 12 member teams uh, operating Midget AAA franchises. Um, it really allows the player from the time he leaves Bantam hockey and, and sort of embarks on a, a path from, from midget to junior to, uh, to really develop at his own pace and under the watch of the, uh, of the team that he'll eventually play for. So it's a club structure in that sense. It allows the player to develop at his own pace. It allows our teams to really have a good handle on where players are in terms of their development. And we think it really is going to create uh, more opportunities for local players on our junior A rosters. I think the main concern when we talk about the parents or even the players is the fact that the 15 year olds are not being seen enough and uh, the fact that they're not playing in any tournaments uh, obviously the OHL Cup not playing there you know I'm, I'm not a big fan of that uh, but this is again this is stuff that we're, we're working on uh, as a league I think we need to to look at this uh, I think things are going to change next year I think the league is going to be back it's going to be a better league um, because again we're in year one right now so and we want to help uh, i'd say the 15 year old more than anyone else because like i say the the ohl cup and whether it's the marley's tournament i think there's a way that you know, we got to make sure that these kids can play into the tournaments i've always been known to always been a coach that emphasizes skating and if you look at all the different levels whether it's from minor hockey from b to a to double a to triple a and the same thing from triple a or minor hockey up to junior it's all skating the number one thing is the speed of the game and that's the number one thing that kids typically see and I've been fortunate enough, I've been around hockey long enough and I actually had my sons going through it that making that jump from minor up to junior A or even to junior B, it's the speed of the game. Well I think as a staff, if you look at uh, myself as a GM and the, the coaching staff, uh, we do a lot of video. Uh, we want to make sure that the boys are able to see the, 
you know, the, the mistakes that they make and also the good plays that they, they do make? Uh, mostly my physical play, you know, I go in there, four check hard, I hit, throw the body around. I'd say my greatest strengths as a player are my physicality. I'm a big, strong player. I like play, playing the body. Uh, I think I just want to exceed the highest level I can and also do well in school too. And I always want to have an education to fall back on. I'm a good two-way forward. I play good in the defensive zone. I play good in the offensive zone. Uh, we try and promote them online uh, through Outsedge Media, uh, point streak performance, obviously. And I think the, the best way to, to help these guys get to the next level uh, whatever that level is for, for a player, uh, you know, they're all, I'd say most of them are being AP'd right now, especially the 16, 17 year olds, and that's the main focus for us. There's a few 15 year olds that are AP'd too, but at the same time you, you want to make sure that these guys can handle the physicality at the junior level. So uh, uh, this is why sometimes with the younger guy will maybe wait a year. Uh, but like I said, when it comes to the 16 or 17 year old, we want to make sure they're AP at the junior A level or junior B level. So the, they get even more practice time, they get more games. Uh, and overall, I think it, it does benefit uh, every player on the team. I think speed is always something that we're looking at. Uh, I think if you can't skate, it's very tough to, to get to the next level. Uh, but again, we want smart hockey players. You know, if you look at the staff that we have here at the junior level, we're all school teachers, so we promote education. Um, and we feel that a smart student will probably be a smart hockey player uh, once he steps on the ice. So obviously this is something very important to us. Uh, at the same time, we want good kids. Uh, we want players that play the right way. We don't really care about points or who scores the goals. It's, it's just about playing the right way and you know, being a team player. Um, and that's what we have right now on our hockey club. I think it's the same thing we had last season and I think that's why we had success. So. Yeah, I think for us as coaches, these are the stuff that, the things that we're looking at. Well, I always evaluate them on heart, hands, uh, feet, and brains. That's really what you're, you're evaluating the kids on. So my basis is number one is uh, skating, and the other thing is you can't be afraid. Uh, there was, unfortunately, there was a couple of players that were tried out. They had all the skills, but when it came time for it, uh, when they got into the corners, they kind of shied away. And you can't be an effective hockey player if you're going to be out there and you're going to be scared. Yeah, I think as an organization, we, you know, we're not going to change much in the, in the future. Uh, I'm here to stay. It's almost, a, there's, there's a feel that we're almost a family here. We're having lots of fun uh, and, and the kids are getting better.